Hey guys, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I have found the best used Blu-ray find of my life. So guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. As I said, my name is Jeff here from Films at Home, and in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick little collection update, go over some Christmas movies, uh, stuff that I got as gifts, and then I wanna talk about it towards the end of the video, one of the best used Blu-ray finds of my life, and how you may be able to find something like this at a used store near you, and some titles to look for, so stay tuned for that. If you are interested in Blu-ray, 4K, home theater, movie collecting, physical media, any of that stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do like this video, please leave a like and leave me a comment letting me know what your best used Blu-ray find was. I'm really curious what you guys all have found out there in the wild while hunting. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So now first off, I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I got for Christmas. One of the movies I got, which I don't have right now with me, is Yesterday 4K. I really liked the movie Yesterday. I saw it in theaters, and so I was excited to get the 4K copy of that. But I have that lent out right now, so I don't have it with me. Um, I also got Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark in 4K. Did not see this, didn't see it in the theaters, haven't seen anything really about it except for one of the trailers. But as a kid, I loved these books. This was like my first real uh, exposure to horror, and I loved the illustrations. And just judging uh, by what I saw in the trailer and this cover art here, it looks like they're being pretty faithful to the original illustrations and not the kind of PC ones that they've come out with in the last few years, which are just garbage. Um, you need the original. Alan Schwartz, I believe, uh, was the guy who did all the illustrations, and they're incredibly scary, and that's what made the book so great. Uh, so if you haven't seen those, go find an original copy of the book. But I've heard that this movie does a pretty good job portraying the way that he originally drew uh, these characters, which scared the hell out of me as a kid. Um, I also got Child's Play, the uh, remake, the new remake from this past year. Didn't see this in theaters, but I actually heard decent things about it. Uh, this one's just available on Blu-ray, but I heard good things. The team from um, Orion Pictures is behind it. Uh, wow, almost dropped it. And um, they do a lot of good horror movies. Uh, they're kind of a smaller studio, but uh, also from a producer of It, and it has Aubrey Plaza and um, you know some other fairly well-known actors and actresses in this. Um, but I'm excited to check it out because I heard decent things and I really like the Chucky movies. And then the last one I got as a gift, this is a little more obscure. And this uh, actually came with a slipcover, which was uh, really surprising. But it's an IFC Midnight Scream Factory title called The Clove Hitch Killer. Uh, if you haven't heard of this, it stars Dylan McDermott, who you know from American Horror Story. He was in the first season of American Horror Story, Murder House. He was in the latest season, 1984, as a serial killer. Uh, and in this movie, again, he plays a serial killer. And this is largely based on the BTK killer, who was kind of this everyman, uh, Boy Scout troop leader, active in his church, active in his community, um, had kids, had a wife, was married, but behind the scenes, was killing all these people in horrible, horrible ways. And so this movie kind of explores what that is like to be um, the son of this person in this little town in Kentucky. It's all very much like BTK. Um, even the cover shot really looks like it where he's kind of just lurking in a house with nobody home. I like serial killers. I shouldn't say I like them. Uh, what they do is horrible, but I like exploring the psychology and the true crime stuff. And BTK is one of the most fascinating because of um, his family and the fact that he lived this double life. A lot of the serial killers don't usually do that and have this complete double life. And he really did it and got away with it for a long time. And so I'm really excited. I think Dylan McDermott is great as a creepy serial killer in all the American Horror Story roles that he's played. Not always a serial killer, but he's always been very good in those roles. And so I'm excited to see him in this. Uh, and add this to my Scream Factory IFC Midnight Collection. They have some really nice stuff. Now, just a couple pickups for me. One of these is super cool, and it's an Arrow video box set called De Niro and De Palma, The Early Films. It has The Wedding Party, Greetings, and Hi, Mom, three of De Niro and De Palma's earliest movies. And, of course, we're talking about Ro Robert De Niro and Brian De Palma. Robert De Niro, of course, you know from so many movies, most recently The Irishman. 
uh, Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, uh, Raging Bull, like I, you can go on and on, the Godfather movies. And then Brian De Palmer, uh, he did stuff, uh, his most famous, you probably know him for is Carrie, but he did a lot of other movies uh, throughout the uh, 70s and 80s. And this is their first few films and it comes in this really cool green box set. Um, it's got two individual cases with uh, greetings and then uh, this also has the wedding party and then this is just hi mom um, one of these was the original i think it was greetings greetings was the first ever x rating from the mp a who does all the ratings now for every movie so it's got some sort of uh film history significance and obviously it's it's robert de niro it's brian de palma it's just legends and uh, it's their early stuff completely restored by Arrow Video. I got that from an MVD flash sale. MVD is the American distributor of Arrow Video. And I only paid $10 for this set. It goes for 50 bucks. It was $10 with free shipping. Uh, so that was absolutely an incredible deal. They ran that flash, shield, flash sale right before Christmas, I wanna say. And there was some really good stuff on there, some more obscure Arrow video titles, some stuff I already had, but that was a no brainer to get three early De Niro, De Palma movies. And uh, especially with the significance of the, um, the set and cultural and historical significance, that's something I definitely wanted in my collection. And now for what you've all been waiting for, um, this actually just happened today, a few hours ago, I was out uh, going to thrift stores, I always check out Goodwills and Salvation Armies and um, even just like random record stores and things. And then of course, like places like Bull Moose, but I really like checking out the thrift stores, especially Goodwill seems to have the best selection of movies over the Salvation Army, at least in my area. And so I popped into a couple Goodwills and the last one I went into, I found a bunch of Blu-rays at, if you're in the uh, Southern New Hampshire area, uh, Northern Massachusetts, it's in Seabrook, New Hampshire, this Goodwill, and they had a bunch of Blu-rays, probably 20 on the shelf. I had most of them, but I managed to pick up a couple that I did need. The first one was Meatballs. This is a classic comedy. Um, it's Bill Murray's um, uh, first like starring role. Um, it's also his feature film debut. This is where Bill Murray really kicked everything off. So, um, you know, classic comedy, cult classic, meatballs. It's kind of like Animal House at summer camp, they say. Um, but I, I'm happy to add this one. Director is Ivan Reitman. You probably know him. So there's, there's a ton of good stuff going on with this movie. I, I was surprised I didn't have it in my collection on Blu-ray. And so that was a no-brainer to pick up. And then I'm going through all the Blu-rays and I'm literally about to walk out of the store with just meatballs, which I got for $2. And it's a really good deal for a Blu-ray. And Go, I went back to the shelf and I checked one last time. You always double check at these stores because there's so many titles. You're going to miss some. They're in odd places. And up by the video games, mixed in with like NBA Live 2007, next to a Michael Jackson Wii game, I found an absolute steal. The best used Blu-ray find that I have ever found at a thrift store. And that is George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, 1978. This is the original cut and this is very, very out of print. This is very hard to find. You will not find this on Amazon. You will not find this in any retailers, uh, Target, Walmart. None of those guys are gonna have it. It's been out of print for a few years now. And it's just a single disc release from Anchor Bay Entertainment. But this is going for roughly 50 to $60 on eBay right now. And they had it at the Goodwill for $2. This was an amazing find. I would have paid five. I would have paid 10. I would have paid $20 for it because I know how much it can go for. And they had it for just two bucks. A lot of the Blu-rays were four or $5. And for whatever reason, this one was only $2, an absolute steal. And it's in great condition. If you look at it, um, just looking at the back of the case, everything's in really good shape. It still has the original um, like artwork on the front. Um, and the little insert and then the disc itself was just great no scratches very clean had no issues with it at all um, and so that's always one thing to check when you go into thrift stores but all I saw was that little spine and I said whoa George Romero Dawn of the Dead this can't be it um, and it was I've been looking for this forever and I don't like going on eBay I could have had this movie I could have gone on eBay and paid $60 and had it in a few days but I like to try to find them out there in the wild I like to do the hunt um, kind of like you know uh, cinema sickness is one guy that 
he does a ton of videos where he's out hunting for stuff and cool duder and a couple others who you know i don't like filming in stores so i don't do it i just don't like to be in people's way i think it's awkward but i do go hunting all the time and this was the best one i've ever found by far as a horror fan a fan of george romero's i have his autographed script of night of the living dead i have all kinds of stuff from him absolutely love the movies and so i was just beyond excited when i saw this especially in the condition that it's in and for two dollars what an absolute deal and so i would highly recommend checking out your local thrift stores go to goodwills go to salvation armies check out local um you know like yard sales uh estate sales or any like church sales sometimes they just do stuff for the church a lot of people seem to be donating blu-rays especially as more people move to digital i'm seeing more and more blu-rays show up in Salvation Army and Goodwill, where even in you know a year or two years ago, you'd be lucky to find anything decent on DVD, and there'd be a ton of just old VHS or a thousand copies of Disney movies or Titanic or stuff you, nobody wants. And now I walked into Goodwill today, there's 20 to 25 Blu-rays on the shelf. There are some pretty good titles. I noticed that the movie Overlord was in there, which is like brand new. That movie came out like six months ago. It was on their shelf on Blu-ray for $5. Like there's some really good deals to be had. So I recommend checking out those stores, going on the hunt yourselves, and always double and triple check the entire media section. Check the video games, check the DVDs, check the VHS. Even look in with the CDs and other stuff because these movies get slipped into odd places and people at these stores don't really know what they have and so they just kind of throw them on shelves and so do a thorough check double check and make sure you have some sort of app so that you can look up a few movies that are out of print dawn of the dead is a great one if you can find it and another, another one is dead alive um, dogma is another one the kevin smith movie if you can find that any of the ace ventura movies are out of print on blu-ray those are also very hard to find so that gives you a few suggestions i i recommend going online searching for out of print blu-rays but always have a few in your head that you want like i've been looking for dawn of the dead for ages i knew immediately when i saw that that is a movie I have to have. That is well worth the $2. And it was amazing to even find it on a shelf in a random Goodwill because it should be going for 50 or 60 bucks on eBay. So you got to know what you're looking for. It's kind of like if you ever watch the show American Pickers, you know, you think, oh, anybody can go pick a house, but those guys know what they're looking for. So know what you're looking for before you go on a hunt, before you go looking for used stuff because that's where you're really gonna find a deal. Maybe the movie that you're gonna pay $5 for, you can get on eBay for $2. Maybe it's not even worth it. And maybe the movie that's only $2 is really worth 50 or 60, or it's been out of print for years, and it's super rare. So always, always, always double check and know what you're looking for before you go into one of these thrift stores. So thanks for watching this video. I'm super excited about Dawn of the Dead. This one's going right on the shelf. I'm keeping this one. Not gonna sell it. Um, there are some rumors of Dawn of the Dead 4K, but this is the original release and I, I love the artwork on it and I will hold on to this until I see and hear more about a 4K release. I know there's one coming from Second Sight, but it's been delayed and delayed and who knows if Second Sight's ever gonna actually come through. They could go out of business. Who knows what's gonna happen? So I'm not getting rid of this until I know for sure that we have a concrete 4K release coming. Um, and I'm not interested in the current overseas release of Zombie Dawn of the Dead because that's uh, Dario Argento's cut, not the original cut. I want the original George Romero cut, so I'm keeping this one in my collection. If you are interested in this video, please remember to subscribe, like the video, check out all the links down in my description, follow me on Instagram, check out my merch, check out my Amazon store and all the different Amazon links to things that I use in my home theater, in my movie room on a daily basis. And also make sure to check out the last few videos because there's been some really interesting stuff going on in the industry and in my collection. So if you haven't seen those, definitely go check those out. Thank you for watching again, and I will talk to you guys soon. The top 10 list of 2019 will be coming this week, so make sure you stay tuned for that one.